the Bible says, daily entered his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praises. We bless his name. We, as we start this service, we appreciate the Lord. We want to thank him for this day. We should, we should always develop a grateful heart in Jesus' name. We want to thank the Lord for this day. Thank him for allowing us to be in this service despite the rains. Uh, let's stand up and thank the Lord. Thank the Lord in Jesus' name. We appreciate you, Lord. Thank you. Because of your goodness, my Father, your faithfulness, O oh Lord, the blessings upon our lives, my Father, say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jehovah God. Jesus, praise of God. The name of Jesus. Talk about Thanksgiving for a short time, then we make some prayers about it. The word thankful in the Bible appears three times and the thanksgiving appears 78 times in the same Bible. So we should always thank the Lord, we should always appreciate Him even if such things are not going in your way. The Lord will always be the Lord. It does not change when your things are going the wrong direction. Regularly practice giving thanks to God in because God, everything goes in His will. Uh, in First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 34, the Bible says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. Amen? Amen. And it also, when you go to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18 to 20, it says everything good in your life comes from God. So we should always draw closer to God and understand the intentions of God. Uh, sometimes we complain, occasionally, not even sometimes, most of the times we complain when things are not going right. But in response to your complaints, always practice to replace that criticism with thanksgiving. Amen? Uh, Paul tells the Thessalonians in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18. He tells them to give thanks in all circumstances because it's the will of God. Uh, if you can God is at work in every situation, when, uh, when we thank Him, uh, praise God, uh, we are conditioned to believe that life will always go well. Sometimes we think when you are born again, 
you are in the, in the body of Christ, you're always in church, you think everything will go on well. But that, that's not the case. Sometimes things go south when you want them to go north. But in all this, you should always thank the Lord. Make gratitude part of your interactions with people and with God. Gratitude should, in fact, in both our relationship with everyone around and with the Lord Almighty. You, if you see something good uh, from your, at, on your neighbor, just appreciate it, point it out. And that's another form of giving thanks. Lean on the strength of gratitude because thanks, it provides thanksgiving which is a superpower and enables us to see the past experience and embrace it in the will of God. That's we find it in Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17 to 18 and Hebrews chapter 12 verse 26 to 29. So uh, now we need to stand up and make some prayers on Thanksgiving. Uh, first we want to pray blessing on Psalms chapter 68 verse 19. Psalms chapter 68 verse 19. The Bible says, Praise be to Lord, to the Lord, to God our Savior, who daily bears our burdens. Uh, the Lord bears our burdens, so we should always thank Him. We want to thank Him for bringing us this far and for all the benefits He has given in our lives. Amen. Then we will pray to thank God for always being there whenever you call on Him. As much as you pray and the, the answer takes long, always know that God is always there. If you pray and the, the answer is no, God also has a reason for that answer. Then we'll pray for the precious gift of salvation. That's in Psalms 18 verse 46. And also, we we'll pray, we know this uh, month, the Muslims have, uh, have started their Ramadan. So we should pray so much so that God will enable us to be victorious over their, maybe their evil prayers and over our sins. That will get it from first. Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 God rescues us from the hands of the enemy so if, even if they pray negative prayers you see most of the time Bishop delivers people here and uh, some of them they are sent from the other side so we should pray that God deliver us from the hands of that enemy uh, we should also we will also thank God uh, for taking away the garment of shame and disgrace in our lives and not allowing our enemies to have the last laugh at us. So uh, Psalms 105 verse 1. So we stand up. And thank God for the rains, and we also thank God for our country, Kenya. We pray for peace to continue reigning in this country. Lord, we appreciate you. Father, we thank, thank you for the nation, Kenya. Kenya. We glorify your holy name, O oh God. We glorify thank you, Jehovah Father, for the rains that have given unto us. Thank you, Lord. 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 Jehovah, we thank you that my Father, every moment we call upon your name, you hear us, God Almighty, you answer us, everlasting Father. There is a scripture in the book of Joel I want us to pray before we move on. 
kuna niko katika kitabu cha Yoweli nataka tusome kabla tujaenda mbele. Joel chapter number 2 Yoweli mbili. Uh, we'll read from verse 12. Nasoma kutoka mstari wa 12. The Bible says even now declare the Lord Return to me with all your heart with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your heart and not your garment. Rarua. Return to the Lord your God for he is gracious and compassionate. Slow to anger and abounding in love. And he relents from sending calamity. Even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your heart and not your garment. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love, and he relents. He relents from sending calamity. Praise the name of the Lord. Lakini hata sasa asema Bwana, nirudieni mimi kwa mioyo yenu yote kwa kufunga na kwa kulia na kwa kuomboleza. Rarueni mioyo yenu wala sio mavazi yenu. Mkamrudie Bwana Mungu wenu kwa maana yeye ndiye mwenye neema amejaa huruma. Si mwepesi wa hasira, ni mwingi wa rehema. Naye kugairi mabaya. Fote. Nami ajuae kwamba hata rudi na kugeuka na ku, kutuachia baraka nyuma yake. Naam, sadaka ya unga na sadaka ya kinywaji kwa Bwana Mungu wenu. Amen. Amen. Joy is making a call. Yoweli anaweka mwito to the people. Kwa watu. And he is saying, na anasema, it is really not joy who was speaking these words. Na nena kwamba si Yoweli ni Yoweli alikuwa anasema haya maneno. He was only being a vessel to declare what the Lord was saying. Yeye alikuwa tu chombo cha kutangaza kile ambacho Bwana amesema. He begin by saying even now anaanza kwa kusema hata sasa it is no longer in their days it is in our days si kwa nyakati zile zao lakini sasa ni katika nyakati zetu this scripture is speaking to us even now ili andiko la tunenea sisi hata leo declare lord anatasana sema bwana read to me with all your heart nirudieni mimi kwa mioyo yenu yote it is the cry in the atmosphere ni mwito katika ulimwengu wa kiroho it is the cry in our nation ni mwito katika taifa letu ni kile god desires us as a church mungu anatuhitaji sisi kama kanisa that we return to him with the totality of our hearts ya kwamba tukamrudie kwa mioyo yetu yote not by empty words kwa maneno matupu but with the totality of the yielding of our hearts to him but lakini kwa utele wa mioyo yetu kujitoa kwake when we say we have repented it was it is truly we have repented tukisema tumetubu ni ukweli tumetubu and he said come in this repentance with fasting weeping and mourning anasema njoni katika hii toba kwa kulia na kuomboleza praise the name of the lord Fasting alone is not enough. The Lord is calling for a people that will weep on behalf of the rest. A people that will come before him in mourning. Ready their heart and not their garment. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I want us for a moment or for some few minutes. We want to bring a cry before the Lord. We want to go before the Lord with the sincerity of our hearts. And we acknowledge of the sins that 
are within us and around us. Na tunatambua zile dhambi zilizo ndani mwetu na zinazotuzunguka. In our lives in our families in the body of Jesus Christ in the nation. Katika maisha yetu ndani ya familia zetu katika taifa letu. God, God is looking for a man among them. Bwana Mungu anatafuta mtu kati ya hao. And tonight he has found us in his presence. Na leo ametupata katika uwepo wake. Are we going to be accountable? Je, tutaweza kuwajibika? That tonight we can render our hearts before God. Ya kwamba usiku wa leo tutararua mioyo yetu. And out of the pride that we are going to raise up to the Father. Na katika huo hicho kilio tunaenda kuinua mbele za baba. He may have mercy upon us. Wenda akawa na huruma juu yetu. He may have mercy upon the body of Jesus Christ. Wenda akahurumia mwili wa Kristo. He may have mercy upon the nation of Kenya. Wenda akahurumia taifa la Kenya. He may have mercy upon our families. Wenda akahurumia familia zetu. Praise the name of Jesus. Sana sifiwe. That is the work of an intercessor. Hiyo ndio kazi ya mwombezi. I want to believe by now. Nataka We have shifted from a level where our prayers are concentrating on me, my family, my everything. And we are able to step out and pray a prayer that is affecting our environment. Please let's be up on our feet. Hallelujah. I want us to bring our repentance before the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. We want to tell God on behalf of the body of Jesus Christ. I was looking at the clip that was being shown in Malindi. Nilikuwa naona yaani kuna sehemu ya picha fulani ilikuwa inaonyesha kule Malindi. And I was asking myself. Nilikuwa najiuliza. Where have we gone wrong? Tuko tumeenda wapi kinyume? As the body of Jesus Christ. Kama mwili wa Kristo. Where are these authentic apostles that used to stand and rebuke things? Wako wapi hao mitume ambao wangelisimama na kukemea vitu? Who is this that is so bold enough? Huyu ni nani ambao ana ujasiri kamili to confront this wickedness in the name of pastor. Amen. Ambao ambao anaweza kukabiliana na uovu huu kwa jina la mchungaji. Ambaye anaweza kukabiliana uovu ambao unatendwa kwa jina ya wachungaji. Praise the name of the Lord. We are putting the body of Jesus Christ in shame. Tunaweka mwili wa Kristo katika aibu. How I pray jinsi na maombi in our generation katika kizazi chetu we will not sit down when we are seeing what is evil around us hatutaketi tunapoona maovu yanayotuzunguka watungaji bandia it is not it is not biblical it is not even godly si kibiblia wala hata sio kimungu That is evil sacrifices that are being done on our land. Hiyo ni sadaka ya kinyume ambayo inafanyika katika taifa letu. And that blood will keep on haunting, will keep on crying out for vengeance. Hiyo damu itaendelea kulia ikitaka kulipisha kisasi. How I pray that God will remember mercy on us. Ninaomba Mungu akumbuke rehema juu yetu. Lift up your voice to the Lord. Inua sauti yako kwa Mungu. And just tell God Have mercy on us. on me. Have mercy on the church. Have mercy on the family. Have mercy on the nation. God, tonight we are before you, King of all glory. We are yielding our lives to you. We are surrendering before your throne of God. We are calling upon your name everlasting.
Asking for your mercy upon us as a ministry. Forgive us in every area that we've gone against your will. Cleanse us and make us whole. That you will take pleasure in our fellowship. That Father God, you have it your way in our meetings. That you will dwell among us as well. Thank you, gracious God. Thank you, everlasting Father. Give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 There are God lights in a broken spirit and a contrite heart. Because that is where we are able to encounter his presence. I want us to make a final prayer before I hand over the microphone. Nataka tufanye ombi kabla sijapeana kipaza sauti. There is something I had in the beginning of the year. Kuna kitu nilisikia mwanzoni mwa mwaka. Of which it could be I never gave it the, the attention it required. Wenda sikuweza kupeana ama kuwajibika kwa vile ilivyotakikana. But it hit me last 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 week but niliguzwa juma iliyopita we were somewhere in a meeting and someone said tulikuwa mahali kwa mkutano na mtu akasema that there is a plan to shed blood in all the universities to ensure that they give a sacrifice of a student ya kwamba kuna mpango ambao umepangwa katika vyo vikuu kwamba umwagikaji wa damu kuwepo for them to initiate what they want to initiate in this gen in that generation. Ili wakaweze kuwaingiza ama kuwahusisha katika hayo mambo yao katika kizazi hiki. It came to my realization when I heard about the Masendo boy. Ili nisababisha nikakumbuka wakati nilisikia habari kuhusu yule kijana wa Maseno. And I've recapped here about day what about you or about Nimeendelea kusikiza na kufuatilia katika hiyo vyo vyo cha mechaja. And I realized the enemy is out to make true. Nikatambua kwamba adui yuko mbio kutimiza ukweli wake. I want us to make a prayer for the institution. Tufanye ombi kwa ajili ya vyo hivyo and silence the claim of blood. Tunyamazishe kule kuitishwa kwa damu. It may look that it's very far because there these children are not related to us. Wenda ikawa kwamba inaonekana kuwa mbali kwa sababu hawa watoto hawako karibu na sisi. We cannot wait to hear from our own. Hatuwezi kungoja kusikia kwa wetu. What to raise up a cry for the Lord. Nataka tuinue kilio mbele za Mungu. On behalf of our universities kwa niaba ya vyo vyetu The enemy is targeting that young generation. Adui analenga ana hicho kizazi ambacho ni kichanga. And the worst of it is that he is hitting those students that are almost finishing the sick tears with doctor lawyer people who are almost getting out. Sana sana anafuta wale ambao wako karibu kumaliza watoke nje. I was told of one in Kabara who was just finishing the last semester as a doctor. Those are six years. 
niliambiwa mmoja alikule kabara alikuwa anamalizia sasa mwisho wake mwaka wa mwisho I'm not even so sure whether the, the father has uh, come back to life because he fainted and was taken to ICU. I'm not followed. Sina uhakika kama baba yake alirudi kuwa mzima maana yake alizirai. We cannot sit down as parents and see this happen. Hatuwezi keti chini kama wazazi tungoje kuona haya kitendeka. Encourage your brother and encourage your sister by standing and holding someone's hand. Muimize ndugu yako na dada yako kumshika mkono msimame pamoja. We want to pray for the institution of this high institution, the learning institution. Tunataka tuombe vyo vitu vikuu ambao ni mahali pa watoto wetu kusoma. And we want to sign tunataka tunyamazishe every covenant the enemy has made with those institution kila agano ambalo adui amefanya katika hiyo view it will not start haitasimama we will not lose any other person hatutampoteza mtu yeyote we will not agree to allow our children just to die anyhow hatutakubali kuona watoto wetu wakikufa hiyo view we are saying no to every covenant of the devil tunasema la kwa kila agano Open up your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Break kaza kaya pashe kante ni maza. Break teke peche la 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 bo zeta intele ba zeta ya na ba sheta la ba zeta ke gozika. In the name of Jesus, Father, tonight we lift up a cry before you, O God. We raise up a cry to you, everlasting Father. We declare that God Almighty. Every covenant the enemy has done in our universities, in the name of Jesus, it will not stand in the name of the Lord. We start tonight to declare a stop to this in the name of Jesus. We start tonight, my brother, as we lift up our voices to you, as we lift up our cry to you, O God Almighty. We say no in the name of Jesus that our children and our young men who die out of calamities of the enemy, we refuse that that blood shall be shed anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ, we start tonight, O oh God, and draw a line in the spiritual river and say no to the works of the enemy and say no to the powers of evil and say no to the freedom of another. Lord God Almighty, we undo that which the devil did in the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, we break that evil covenant by the blood of the Lamb tonight. Amen. You see, when you are a woman or a mama, you have responsibilities. Utajikutu mefanya kazi mchana yote, na hata mwili mechoka. 
when Jesus says that you cannot even pray. But when you look at how your children are behaving, when you put a book on home, when Jesus says that. Point number one, we shall just dwell on Proverbs 31. When Jesus says that. When you are a mother and you are getting discouraged, just to go and read Proverbs 31. Where it begins, it says, It is an oracle written to a king, the ruler. O oh, my son, O oh, son of my womb, O oh, son of my vows, do not spend your strength on women, your vigor in those who ruin kings. It is not for it is not for kings or lo the women. It is not for kings to drink wine. It is not for rulers to rave. This is a mother warning the son, Vanessa's first son. I think it's the mother of who President Bihuto. Does she correct him? Let us trust the God that he, he corrects Vanessa's first son. But you as a mother, you like me, we should advise our children, Vanessa's first son. However tough, however big they are, I don't go to President, I go to MCA. Advice important. When you advise your children, they will grow fearing the Lord. This is an advice. And I was reading from another, another version. It was saying it was the grandmother who was advising Vanessa's face. And Amalia, don't waste yourself in women on wine. Vanessa's face. So, as, as mothers, let us advise our children. Not only your child, even if you get mine going astray, let us do what? Advise our children as the body of Christ when it's as for son. Amen? Because even if yours is right, I was sharing with another mama, I was telling her, even if I train my son and my daughter to know how to pray, to know how to read the Bible, who is going to marry precious? Who is going to get married to Israel? Someone else. And is that very praying? When you say, they are not. Why would I put you in an allegation? Who now pay what you do? Also, the telephone. I pray for those partners. Because some of these partners get our good sons and spoil them. Get our good sons and spoil them. When you say, Amen. So, as long as you pray, God will give precious to put us back. Also, tell God. Oh, God, for my daughter to prosper, to be an engineer, God, to be a nurse. Tell God also, God, when she gets married, God, give her a good husband. Who is saved? She can get a good husband, but after some years, she turns back to drunk and miss Vanessa's question. As a mother, we are always trainers. You are always a teacher. Not just in your family, but a teacher. That's why I always tell you, as long as you are promoted me to a pastor, and I always remain a Sunday school teacher. When Jesus first said, whatever we plan to those children on the other side, it never comes out of their mind. When Jesus first said, and our all these children are, we remain a Sunday school. When Jesus first said, as far as they will go, but because of your teaching, when Jesus first said. So as a lady, as a mother this day, as a woman in the meeting today, you to eat that is our support day. In fact, the old mamas had us to train the youth. But we didn't know how to approach them. Amen. And God will bless you. Amen. As a mother, responsibility to your family, train your children. But now to the ministry, let us also train our girls and boys. Those ones who are getting into marriage. Those words who are in colleges. There is a challenge you saw in your child. So help the other one not to go through it again. When Jesus says that. And this God who sits in heaven, when he sees what you are doing, is also going to watch over your children. When Jesus says that. To secure a while, you are going to Please, no. Please, no. Ukiona na and that one it remembers to grow that 
kwa upendo wa kanisa ile ya kwanza amen na hiyo upendo ikiendelea unapata ya kwamba ni mungu kwa nanga hiyo kwa nesa sifuwe sana you see why even here we are not full mungu ni karibisha nani baba basta te baba bisho you are kasambe nani hata leo raudia mungu ya kata kwa mwoni kwa nesa sifuwe sana so are we brothers keeper so even as we complain that what do we do wengine wako wanapea na wengine unajua kwa sunday as they are now na kitu kwa tuko mlango so the reason for people to come to this meeting is because of me and you tell your neighbor me and you me and you when yes as we say hata wengine tunawaza wasikane wetu nyumbani me and you when yes as we say amen you could have reminded that neighbor who comes to dominion you could have reminded that neighbor who is not who is not coming to dominion or only of Vanessa Spesa even when you come for the resurrection night and people are not here dominion is failing because of you Vanessa Spesa and then your neighbor is failing because of you tume tume wacha uinjilisti amen tume wacha nini uinjilisti tuna wacha uinjilisti and it is making the kingdom of God to suffer that's why you see people are opening small small churches and you move like you talk about the hope when you want to people will not run to open churches but this is where sir you see that we run away we get lost somebody is a praiser I'm an intercessor you need to send me an anointing when you go and open a church you are praisers you can send the word to Naima then it will go then it will go when this is where sir Amen. Point number one: be a trainer, be a teacher always. We see in Exodus one, these women who were told to be killing the Israelites, they feared God. When they were special, and God gave them credit. So do something good, and God will give credit to your generation, to your generation. When they were special, also a woman, you are a watchman. Amen. You have to watch over the city. You have to watch over the church. You have to watch over your family. When it's a special, and this watchman never slumbers. Amen. We watch over our husbands. We watch over our our children. When it's a special, mutora tapuja na homa. You have to do the homa with him. You have to go. You have to do what you are a watchman and you're being put in that family in this ministry of dominion worship church as a watchman. Tell your neighbor you are a watchman. Amen. We are watchmen when Jesus is present, so that when you see Pastor Ben has not come to church today on Sunday, call her when Jesus is present. As a mother, call her when Jesus is present. Those ladies who come to church, new new members, how many of us greet them sure? As mothers from next Sunday, let us make a word, a call out for new sisters when Jesus is present. Greet them. Wasalamie waulize unaishi wapi and that way you are a good watchman when it is present a watchman also corrects gives commands when it is present watoto wa Sunday school wanapika kelele tell them say wadada wanakuja kanisani hawajavaa vizuri correct them or give them something to cover themselves when it is present you are a watchman in the house of god amen kuna mama amechukua simu amepatia mtoto wake na bishop anaomba you are a watchman mwambie hawafanyi hivi kanisani you see some of us you never give up so we don't know how to come and impose kuna fikiria tukipatia israel simu sasa hata kupika kelele you are just ruining your kid when it is present amen so also you can see a problem that me my me as a mother i just see it like kilesha so niambie ah eva mtoto wako kukula bulaka kabisa kitembea tembea ni tabia ya tabia mbaya angoja aenda kule huko nje kwa Yesu asifiwe amen and also that one leads to another one age group respect kwa Yesu asifiwe sana age group respect and that thing is lacking in the child of Jesus Christ amen heshima kwa wakubwa kwa dogo those days when i was still in friends and that's why you see these people of uh, religion we cannot change them why how are you a dini wakati tunakuwa unaambiwa this is mama bishop and mama 
bishop anaheshimiwa huyu ni pastor pastor anaheshimiwa huyu ni mama kanisa huyu baba anaheshimiwa huyu ni asha na huyu ni mkubwa wako kanisa sikile sana and also we don't speak against them before our children kanisa sikile sana but you see nowadays you can go and open up mama bishop and remove the sweater and remove the dress and tell them everything so even when you come and tell our children to respect they don't why we when you with your gabi by kwa mama grace kuli mfungua uyo gabi by kwa pretty so by the time my my daughter meets with mama grace mama grace will get pressure to her boss why it grew respect and i was listening to another preacher from nigeria was saying why nigerians flourish it grew sasa mimi reverend sasa kwa the other side sasa tuko na kanisa sasa tunaona bishop sio kitu no sasa wapata anything you want to do there sasa sasa hata mtoto akitoka kwa goma akijenga si unakuja kwa advice bwana sasa 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 sio sasa si akujinua mimi nimewekwa kwa prayer mimi sasa ni pastor who is going to speak to me ababa my friend you will fall my friend mimi ni head mimi ndio mkubwa wa shirika mimi ni mkubwa wa Sunday school atakiambia ni let me tell you I'm going to help others and this God will lift you to higher levels when you are successful sana mimi ni mkubwa wa praise and worship atakiambia nini tunaipa kikosi hiki tumesema na zingine bwana roho wako anatembea sasa bwana tuimbie tu kizungu na hiyo siku again when you are going to share that listen to this way my friend then you are never take advice because you are now a mother Now that you are a mother take advice and advise others when it is your son it will respect and if we do like that God is going to bless us God is going to lift us and only person who can do that is a woman who is humble when it is your son watu wenye uri siku hizi ni wanaoma ama ni wanawake wakina nani nani waje uri sister Raya mtu wa maamushi wakati unapanga watu wa wajeuri ni wagani ruh ukipanga watu wa wenye wanasungweni wa mama ama ni wadugu wa mama so we can just to be a devil god we don't want god to humble us we just want to humble by ourselves when is us first time never pray oh god humble me ah never ask god to humble you you just humble by yourself ukiambi umevaa vibaya sema tu nimesikia nikisali nitakuja nimevaa vizuri ukiambia wewe ukae hapo usiseme mimi hapa tu ndio nataka bwana Yesu asifiwe sana ukisikia teacher yeye amepita na mtoto wake amempatia discipline usiende unajua huyu mtoto niliopatiwa unajua mtoto wangu is the only let me tell you you that that kid is just going to grow into a man and a woman a big lady a big man so as a mother responsibility is to discipline our children when Yesu asifiwe sana Do you know do you want to know the discipline of children visit their home visit their what their home mudoda sadami watu mudoda doi vyombo kwa meza house girl yanafanya everything let me tell you you are training the house girl for the bitterness you are spoiling your child for bitterness when is as person amen so let us speak to our trainer when is as person me even at my place have joined them You see me not speaking well. You see me have not dressed well. You just tell me whatever you know. Unataka na kuniambia, si naona ndio mtsema. Tena mimi na bana nini? Kwa nisa sasa. It's a time one of them told me when I had removed my hair. I could not wait bisha mama. I could not wait bisha. Na hii ndio ya kisem. Niko msa na wait bisha kuna gari. Yaani kuna kuja kuna kweli ndio kwa uone kwa hivyo kukuja na na gray hair sawa nini nilikuja kama nimeshuka wimbo now this is the the player is me hii sasa ni mimi kwa sababu ni nywele ya kweli hakuna vile nitakitanisha kwa club and i don't want so i told them i can still work with the gray hair born for the people lakini kila siku kama ya kushuka then i just so the you see even some of them were playing wimbo Now this is Shugani December. 
Sijuki ni sasa kwa sababu ya joto. Sijuki ni jana kwa sababu ya joto. Lakini unaweza Humility and acceptance will take us far. Amen? You see, there are some small characters that we carry as women that can make your family to grow and also can make a child to expand. But there also there are very small things that can just break like this. Our sister must have said of unity. Unity among us has to go into ordination. When it's a special. Shadani and Esa to transition to a small pin, a small fox. Now, but if you see poor, you see people are coming on the altar, why do you make us a special? What's about the educated dog? So please let me advise you that day if you are coming, just put on away. Kujenepsu <laughs> My dress, my choice has spoiled everything. Where is the special? Let us put on well. Come up with a man, 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 come you are coming on the word of God. You are being commissioned to a field when it's a special. Put, make your hair. Put on where. Come when you are smart. Amen. And God will bless you. And those people who will come with the flowers, just be happy to do it. You are going to be a little bit of a woman. You are going to be a little bit of a woman. And you are going to be commissioned on the word of God. When it's a special. Amen. Take care of others. Woman in ministry in relation to family, when it's a special. Take care of others. In the way that we know. Proverbs 31 20. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy, when it's a special. The judge in the New Testament. Amen. We, do you help people or do you help your friends? Take care of your family and take care of the church when it's a special. Even some neighbors, only your generosity will make them even to follow you when it's a special. Now, when I was going in, for them just to be members of Minion, Nio to Karimu, Mupati, or Tutu, Kamu, Nona, Hana, Chapot, Mupati, help the GT when it's a special. And that's why you see Muslims can never depart from Christianity. Why? Generosity. Size of the funga. Let me hope none of you has eaten those foods. These people are always giving. And the Bible just says, well, I'm going to eat it. 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 I'm going to e
mbua zimejaa watu wakiwa kupia tu zimejaa chakula sahihi watu kunanunua mahindi iko tu unaweza kusema na huyu mtu instead of giving that one who doesn't have unatafuta kuna mbele and also generosity another point in it na when is as fresa amen mm president how many mothers have you visited Yeah. 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 Eliza, you see, sometimes creating time for people, creating time for other people. People, even that people here, when I go to Sanmi, I go to Mama Reva, they don't stand. Baringo, people in Samburu, 
Mwenyeza sikuwe sana. Wana ambia wadi. When our sister announced, what mwana nebe tekula mwana? But what about that name of yours? Who is not still and he doesn't have food? Also that one pen. You are building a ministry. Mwenyeza sikuwe sana. At my place of business, we used to have a very rough mat. And it's your mudalu sana. Ngao me mudalu. So this boy used to be very bad. And I chapa wadu. So one day, we come to Lisa. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. Then we say, maybe we are going to be able to do it. The moment you are hungry, we are going to be able to do it. So I have been buying for him. When he is hungry, I buy for him for 50 shillings. Not every day, but if somebody else buys for him, then people started saying, Now we now we then somebody said, The food that the violence to good. You see, it's done. Then your neighbor journey by. And it can make you. Food is food. If you are not fasting, eat. And when you are fasting, don't eat. Vanessa's first time. And if you have extra, as a woman, responsibility in the ministry, give. Also to your neighbors, give what is as first time. And through your giving, somebody will get saved. And through your giving, your testimony will change. And through your giving, the minion will have a good name. When is as first time. Amen. You can ask somebody, why did you come to Dominion? It will be because of your mom. Amen. The way we pray, people come. And apart from prayer, eat. When is as first time. Clothe them. And you see the goodness of the Lord. Again, a woman in the ministry, relation to family responsibility, we should be an intercessor. Vanessa's first son. Hannah, ask Samuel 1 10. Pray for yourself, pray for your needs, but don't be too selfish. Vanessa's first son. Ni Eva, ni Preshi, ni Izi, ni my husband, ni my business, ni my maids, mungu si mea, ni ni ni. God send me customers. God send me customers. So we are going to have mass in the customers. We are going to open Jesus Christ. We are going to ask them. You should be an intercessor. When you see your children going astray, when you see the children of your brothers going astray, it is you tell your neighbor you are a priest in your mother's house, in your father's house, where you are married. You are a priest. And you see some of these things are getting out of way because of you. You are paid. Me and you, we are done. We are paid. As a church, we are paid. As a ministry, we are paid. Why? We have not prayed. Instead of praying, we go play. Unawana, unawana, unawana. Kwenyesa sifuwe sana. Habia tiranyako wache kulalamika. Omba. Amen. When you see a problem, don't point fingers. You just pray. Karo do what? Pray. Kwenyesa sifuwe sana. You just pray. Kusikia, some rumors you will hear, but don't take them to another level. Silent them with intercession. Kwenyesa sifuwe sana. And when we do like this, we just continue growing. We just continue growing as a ministry. We just continue growing as a ministry. When is a sifuesa? Na tena, kuna hali ya nilesa kukuchokesha. When is a sifuesa? Amen? Na inisha kuchokesha. Utatoka kwa kita. Si hata leo kilo mwakuja hapa, uja kuja kwa sababu ya mwitu. So kuna kitu. Kuna kitu wama wangu jitufata. Misi jakuja kitu. Apart from the call, I have a thing that I want to tell you. When you start to praise God, Amen. Amen. So we should be intercessors, singers of the word, and 
you see, you cannot be a leader says if you are, you are not a forgiving person. You listen to Raniyako. I'm here to Raniyako Roja. You're just making noise. What is that? You're just making noise. Mama Reverend, what's about you? Bishop, what's about you? You are just making good. And God doesn't answer such prayers. When this was first up, a clean heart, a contrite spirit, God hears when this was first up. Come on, Mama, when I call you my lady, you just pray and you go, Mugu, but it is a one day and a bad heat. Like in your Kibuja, Una Mugu, but Nisha, Una Mugu, but it's a good one, but it's a good one. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Just making noise. Amen? Then you are neighbor and intercessor. Akidin Hajj. In Psalms, the Bible tells us who will ascend on the holy mountain. When it says, who will ascend to the holy mountain? Whose hearts are clean? And it names very many things. So it is our responsibility, you, my, me, to have a green heart for me to pray. You see, if you have come to this prayer, prayer this night, now that you want to, you know, you have to go to the house. You know, you have to go to the house. Now, why did you come? You have a green heart. God right spirit. God on us. When it's as first time. Amen? We want to be commissioned. A clean hand. God right spirit. You know how when you prepare now in that department, you will work. When it's as first time. Pure pure to the work. Mota mogini we do up a mafuta. To the work. Mosa. Mota doka apa kunenda kwa nini. No. Gina nendo. It's unity. Masasa kama tuko kwa this unity. You be ever feeling the concern. But you, why then? Why? When you don't have to pray, when you don't have to pray. When it is a job, the man in it, the man in it, it was you. When it's a special. And unity comes from inside. When you don't have to pray, 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 you don't have to pray. You see when you just start questioning. Oh, some of us were just empty in the sense as empty dead base. Why? We question what is not question. When you are special, amen. Tell your neighbor an intercessor. We don't question some things. What is that? Number? Is it number? To what the man they must actually support? You just pray. We say that every day. We pray. Amen. We need that. We put up the seven and one again. You see, when you are an intercessor, you start questioning the matters of condition. The enemy takes over. When it's as first time. And we delay even the purposes of God. Amen? Even in the family, when you have strife, we are the same way, 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 we are the same way. You continue moving in circles. When it's as first time, I pray to God in the year 2023. We refuse to move in circles. Amen? Amen? Even as ladies, when it's as first time, of dominion worship that, as a ministry, we move in oneness, when it's as first time. So that we shall reach a place. Uku kote kumenyapa kukunua. Wa madaha wako, wa wapi wako, wa kaunga wako. Why? We are moving in oneness. When it's as first time. Mutu na tafuta pesa anapana, nisema maungi. Ya wapi? Ya kakameka. When it's as first time. They come. What? Wakikuja hawa. Wakakumbajiwa. Uya nakana, uyu, uya nakana, uyu, uya nakana. Eh, kuna jojo. When it's as first time. Imagine if you go to a house, and in that house, where you have a sitting room, where the baby, where you have a bedroom, 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 where you have a bedroom. No woman is in the house, where you have a bedroom. Like, you know, you have a bedroom, 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 but that woman is, where you have a bedroom. Then you want to help us. There should be womaness in the house of God. Womaness among his sisters. When it's a special. Womaness among his ladies. When it's a special. Mumama Mugubwa and I impress Mudogo. Mumona Mudogo and I are the only one who is in the house of God. And I'm saying, dear. 
kanisa sifa sa. Kanisa kubata ada ibu tuh kanisa they just fear treating older mamas. Na older mamas ano boba youth. Now who is going to train us? Those ones who are in old in marriage they cannot correct. Waki nevo wanyo mbwa. Na waki nevo always to correct. Waki nevo is that young is muda tu sebab mimi ni dijit begini ya. And you are right. He says kanisa sifa. Hello. Amen. So let us be true assessors. When we declare our past, let it be a true. Who's going to change your mind? Hey, I love you. You don't know who you are. What do you mean? You know what you mean. You don't know what you mean. Who you like? Who you like? Who you like? Ah, but you can't say. I'm not going to learn. I'm going to pray first. Let me tell you. You're just wasting your spiritual life. And when you waste your spiritual life, you know what you mean. When you say that, faithfulness. Then faithfulness. Na wakati utaanza kuwa mwaminifu kwa hapo kinyewe Utajikuta tuyo kuneenda Yo kwe, yo kwe, kwa nesa sikuwe sana Amen Ani intercessor, be like Anna You can come for a kesha by yourself You are not praying for any, for your children You are praying for other people's children Kwa nesa sikuwe sana You are praying for other people Na hui mu Ati pigenia watu kwa hapa Nakini ya ba Kwa kia school fees ya precious Ilipe tamu yote, ilipe mwaku yote, na mwaku mwagina, kwe unaomba mwaka yote, na mwagina ana hata ya kuenda na yasa. Kwebeza sikuwe sana. Amen? And when you pray righteous, God will do a thing. Ana pray honestly for a son. And also when we pray, let us wait. Intercessors have patience. Kwebeza sikuwe sana. Have patience. Don't pray now. After two weeks, ato mungu ajajibu. Umeruka kwa kitu ingine Na wakoti ya kasa ni anza kwa nesa sifesa That's why you see people can move from communion to another church to another church Why? Alikuja na hako pada kwa nesa sifesa Amen? So as an intercessor, as a woman in ministry and responsibilities be an intercessor Kuna kitu zengine they will raise up in your family You just pray even a lord Wajaka mamusa sikine mambe yako kutuwa doa inji Umama Dada, macam aku berdoa doa ini bukan yang susah biasa. Ada muda ada begini tu dulu pun dia mahu pergi, dia ada aja sebut dia aja. Masa tu, eh, kami ni, kami ni. So by the end of the day, di kibunji ka, bukan sekali, bukan yang susah biasa. Amen. Also sana ini terus, saya tu nak buat siri. Amen. Dan ada terus, saya nak awak ni tu, keep a secret, and that one makes you to continue. Kwa nesa sifesa, keep being a secret keeper. Amen? Watoto wa ulibu wengu hapa tu wanatushidia. Amen? Unajua kama hii, tuwe ya sisebu zike kwa tu nejingwa kupenye mosque hiko. Hakuna mtu manyangijua where the fans are coming from. Kwa nesa sifesa. Lakini sisi si watu wamejua. Hata pengine wengine wameshansa kuna damika kine pesa tunatua ya sandi. Chatu kila sandi ya kuna kutu matua tu pesa. Matua tu pesa. Nichoa sijui. Let me tell you, if you don't have, just give. But giving and complaining would have been poor. When you say, then you come from there. My friend, as a woman, we just listen. To begin when you say, coffee. Amen. To begin when you say, coffee. Amen. When you pray, you pray for the forget. Very many people who are praying for Kenya, you are just a leaf. And here, the moment we get up, and you go, God, thank you. When it's a special humility, in the sense that let us be very humble. Mothers, let us be very humble. Ladies, let us be humble. You, let us be very humble. And when you are very humble, Hata mtu wake kukanyanga kwa kitu yako Uwani kama anakujafu na usena Tuko sorry So, sorry Mtu mtu sukumo kumabia Masi mtu kanyaka nini mtu nijafu Asige, ah ah, no Let us be humble as mothers Let us be humble as ladies Let us be humble in our families How we handle our husbands How we handle our children Kwa nyesu wa sikuwe sana Mtu wata hata kama manguka mtiani Waja kumudiscourage Kuna mwambia you are useless Hey, fisi yako na nipa pura Hakuna pedu nene when you say Sifesa, Amen? Let us keep the secrets of others. Amen? When you say Sifuel, 
let us keep secrets of our families. Every family has its own journey. Ukiona wa gari, usikipia wadu anasike mzuri, wanashida zao. Usione wa unatepeanga kwa mungu, unaraza, we are not sick. Wanesu asikweza. Usione wa unataka nasoma day school, muka sana, hey, afadali wetu watoto wa nasoma body, body, kuna lesbianism, kuna homosexuality, kuna masturbation, kuna vitu za nyamzi mtukusi mungu, afadali wako wanya narugivi nyumbani, unaone kile jioni. Amen? Na usione wa mtoto 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 Unashaka, huyo wako pekine ni msijana na amenyamaza na kuhu Yesi piyansi Afadhali sasa huyo mwenye anatebe na kijana tunao Tunaone, kwa nesa sikuwe za Let us keep secret, let us pray By day, by night, pray for your neighbor Pray for your brother's children Masaka kwa hana watoto watuki yako na dadako wa keribika Na hibu ina kuja tukwa Akisalia kwa nyumba suya nisa She is my aunt na Niseje Chana ndaome kwa hibu Kwa nesa sikuwe za Si watu wa kitakuwa ni sema seyewa ya baba wa sa. As long as they say the father also me as an aunt of that line. When you say sikuwe sa. So when you notice a problem in your alignment, in your foundation, tell God, God, help me to pray. When you say sikuwe sa. Kita kiti anza ni luambia, you are priests. You are what? Priests. A priest never turns back. A priest never gives up. So don't give up. Vanessa Spesa, let God encourage you, let God lift you to another level, let God increase you, Vanessa Spesa, and when we do all these things, God will prosper us, God will, God will hear our prayers, as women we shall stand, Vanessa Spesa, Proverbs 31, 18, also as a mother, let us be hard working, as a woman, Vanessa Spesa, be what? And working. Why? If you are lazy, you do not make it. When it's a special. Let us read all of us on the screen, verse 15, then verse 18, then verse 27 and 25. Verse 15, Proverbs 31, 15. To some of us, I She wakes up when it's a squeeze on. 18. Stay at home the whole day, lakini ya huta shika bibidia. Unafanya kibitu zengine. Na kama ni mama mwivu ni mama mwenye hana business na hana kazi. Anakatu mbani. Hata soma bibidia. Utapata 
na nini hata watoto ni wachafu nyumba ni chafu anasema vini itafa itafanya bwana Yesu asifiwe sana wa neiba bi hatu waki daddy wa neiba bi hatu waki bwana Yesu asifiwe sana and when we do like that god hears hears our prayers and god also looks at looks at us and blesses the work of our hands our hands as even we finish you as a woman in ministry and in family you should be a woman who can shed tears when it's as special who can do what shed tears amen you can pray and cry when there is a crisis kwa sababu ni wewe hata tunadia tu kwa sababu watoto wenye wanauawa kuna huyu msichana ni wenye wengi wa irimu the one that was was killed by a pastor who was killed by a pastor musician was 700,000 700k you see you find yourself just crying you see if you are a sister and you can kneel here and pray naona my sister this will be good even still have a chance you go to this place wale wanakuja wanatuku wanadia wanadia Kenya wanadia if the problems you are seeing in your father's house in your brother's house na majusi doki my sister again for this as if this if you cannot cry now is going to cry for this as if this amen when we seek our problem our projects and stuff like that we cry to God when we see changes failing in the city we should not say When this was this. Me I always tell people if you are in marriage and your marriage is working never point a finger on a marriage that is failing. The finger can just do the and the man when different of others are not where never point a finger kwa vilani when this was this and you cry and then God, God remember mercy. God forgive us. God remember mercy. God forgive us. God forgive us when this was this and We as a woman who know how to pray at the Sunday Mungu wasabe God forgive me when I say this and why we take that problem as my problem when I say this and amen you take that problem as your problem you you carry it on your shoulder as your problem when I say this and amen the way God was was doing alikuwa anachukua na msiko na anajiwekea anajiwekea anaoshonea ngo mfanye nini some of us if we die now will people celebrate when is the movie you are ending or will people cry uko desa zifue as to neighbor go give no that's why what to be a mother should be the mother of you for the end uko desa zifue sa amen we should be the doctors wanadia wakikuja na mangu wanakuja wengi wanasema pastor Beth ni mmoja hey mungu fanya pastor Beth why pastor Beth siku aliniombea kuna siku alinifanyia hivi kwa nesa sifesa mama leba na mbali kwa bishop asibini kuna siku alifanya hivi kwa nesa sifesa mama dia kuna siku alinibeba kwa gari yake mungu hiyo gari takani baada ya accident kwa nesa sifesa what will people cry then in god when you have a problem atujasema tunakufa hatukufi when you have a problem mama preste how will people say anafanyanga nini sister mdeni how will people say teacher bridge how will people say brother kadem hapo nyuma what will people say ada hapo what will people say when yesa sifa sana inatakana wakati unafanya kitu hata hapo kwa kanisa when you are upset that people notice when yesa sifa sana kama ni kwa media kama ni kwa intercessor kama ni kwa asha ni watu wanasema sister rail ile wa yuko hapa yo sister karo hapo kanisa kwa nini you are doing a work that is tangible when is this person you are doing a work that is tangible so that ukikuwa absent that you are not speaking i don't know what to say sadly is really tangible ukikutana na mtu na kwa kesi ni kanisa siko siko kwa wao na siko kwa ah ujapo jaji the sadly is we don't know when is this person you are not influential Vanessa Sefua you are you should be influential you should be influential 
tunaona watoto wa huyu mama walikuwa na usifu na hata mume wake Vanessa asifiwe sana why were they praising him because he was positively let us influence positively at the place of work where you are married in your father's house in your mother's house Vanessa asifiwe sana i know her sister who is said lakini angeenda kwa sitaki kushikana na watu wenye umechokoka sina uje even na yugo hii Vanessa asifiwe sana mimi sitaki watu wenye umechokoka unajua naongea tu kitu sanyata hakuna Vanessa asifiwe influence and your neighbor influence Vanessa asifiwe sana this is not as easy sio lazima mtakasi watu umeongoka but the way you are influencing the environment huko tu bila unafanya nini na kitu gani are you influencing positively na maneno hata yanatoka kwa madogo yako or are you influencing negatively when we are you see when we are here this we are sisters sio vizuri tena na baada tena mtu mwenye uko na yeye ndio sasa tena kwa sana you are influencing yourself negatively when is us we say amen praise us we should not go us ourselves why you are influencing yourself and when there is uko na sana there is no influence and the power of god is not there when is us we say amen why are we married those ones who are married let us influence positively not in those are just people but we just have to love them. when is us we say now that i'm married the son i just have to love them. Hata kama ana kitoko zake ninamupenda. Kwa nini? Kama ni mungu mwongo yako mbaya, you are just influencing your children to help your mother in law and the aunts more. When is us face that? Let us ask the Lord just to cleanse our hearts so that we can be positive in influence us. Where we live, we do do. We listen. And if you know your mouth has bad bad words sunyamazenge acha watu wasimu tu dada grace ni wanyamaza kumbe wewe unajua ukiongea sumu asifiwe sana kama siku za kuzungumza politics ukiona penye umeka kama mimi hapo kwa angu ukiona watu wengi wamekuja hapo wanaongea chama ya SC na yeye waongea just keep going na ah mambo ya siasa kwa nini kwa sababu za so sometimes if you know you can speak na uongee kwa my sister my fellow you just when is it is that you are in a committee and you know me me hapa nikiongea nitari just keep quiet unga tu kondomo na unyamaza kwa kwa ushiriki unajua chenye utajibu utafanya ushirika isaparatike ah kwa hiyo tu ushirika na kwa kisema tu nasema amen mm ni sawa mm because you will speak and you will spoke you will influence when is it is that at your place of business Pastor mana kusumbua mwambie tu hapana kwa sababu gani anakwambia ufanye kazi yenye anakujibu kidogo mwambie tu hapana ulipo akitupa na wewe unatupa hata kusema wana watu wa dominion kwa nesa sikio sana na dominion sasa singine kitu kipatikana inakaanga very big bana yani ni kama kubana kukuku kumeresiwa kwa nesa sikio sana so ukijua mdomo wako ijaokoka and you can influence negatively Praise the Lord. We just keep quiet. Amen. Ukijua wewe ukikorektiwa, utalipuka, wake kukorekt. Usijibu. You just keep quiet. And that way you will be a responsible woman in the ministry, also in the family. You to when you move up. When your parents speak, they can speak what is not right, but you just After that you are going to Sarah and Yamaza to. Who be say that Yamaza don't speak Kiji? Kwa nisa sikuwe sana. Musemu ikasema, hata mtu mjinga haki nyamaza. Wanafikiri yangi yaani mwini? Ni mwerebu. Kuka hati siwa ni mwerebu. Hata juje ni muna onge. Kwa nisa sikuwe sana. Let us be the men who are of influence. Kwa nisa sikuwe sana. And then, be an intercessor. Take care of others. Be a trainer or a teacher. Be an example. Amen. And farm. Kwa nisa sikuwe sana. You see, You cannot come and correct me on my dressing. No, I don't know what I have. See you. So even as mothers, to our daughters, to our sons, let us also be examples. A good example makes your children to grow well. 
na hii pasi wakikuangalia jumapili ukitoka wasimulize na hiyo mama hiyo tutegea hiyo siliti anenda kanisa mwanesa sikuweza put on well kama tujaki respectively respect the authority mwanesa sikuweza and we shall see God working for us as a church God will work for us in our businesses God will work for us as a ministry and the, the river of the joy of God shall flow from us when Yesu asifuza. Amen. Tumpigie when Yesu magofi. Amen. And our God will bless us. When you have influence, you will be like Esther. Esther ngekua likuwa na tusi watu kwa sababu ni bibi ya mfalme. But the Israelites kumuishimu kwe. Kapana. Lakini kwa sababu ni bibi ya kemi. Let us be humble. Let us move in humility and God will help us spiritually, physically, economically, socially and our marriages will stand, our families will stand, the ministry of dominion worship will stand, churches will start admiring us when it's a sequestered. 